G'day kids, Briggsy here this afternoon on the coffee run with Kate Lushington. How are you Kate? I'm good Briggsy, how are you? I am excellent, thank you. Now Kate, tell us a bit about yourself. What do you umpire? What do you do? Um, so I umpire mostly in the NEFL competition mm -hmm. um, and then I was also selected just this year to umpire in the AFLW. Yep. Um, and outside of umpiring, I'm a, a high school teacher. Seem to have a lot of high school teachers on. Um, Strybos, mm -hmm. high school teacher. Well, he's, pri he's primary. Strybos. Oh, sorry. Doesn't he is count. Primary. Wow. <laughs> you heard it first. Boom. Primary school teacher. <laughs> Next me. thing you're going to be something like real controversial like um, daycare. People oh, no. Like I they're, respect they're daycare not... people. I've got a year seven class for the first time this year, and I tell you what, I respect people who, who deal with the little ones, definitely. Mm, it's a definitely. challenge. It is a challenge. So why not primary school? Why, why is that such a beef? Oh, it's just really, um, I like to have conversations with the, the teenagers. I really enjoy seeing them grow up a bit between mm. year 8 and year 12. Yep. Love the year 12s. Yeah, but why do you um, not rate primary school teachers? Uh, like I, why uh, do Strybos get the, the, the blame? Oh, because you were calling him a high school teacher and I think it's a different kettle of fish. Apologies. <laughs> I did get that wrong. I am sorry. So, <laughs> all right. Um, so, yeah, the high school teaching, how's that... Um, uh, yeah, it's good. Right. Uh, we just um, finished. Where, what, sorry, what school? Uh, I'm, so I'm out at St. Pat's. Yep. Um, so that's out all boys on the north side out at Shawncliffe there. Mm -hmm. And um, we've got a fair few boys who love their footy. Yep. Um, so they are very interested in, uh, in how I'm doing with my umpiring, which is always really nice. They, uh, if they can, they get down to the game sometimes and sit behind the goals and throw a bit of chat. Um, <laughs> Which is always They don't throw hot dogs like Roachy mm -hmm. got. No, they don't throw hot dogs. Just general general chat general about chat flag and waving and, and arm length and perpendicular perpendicular arms and things like that. What so do you do, like maths? I do not like maths at all. No, but what do you teach? I teach English yeah. um, and history. Okay. Yeah, so... Um, oh, I hated history at school. <laughs> I think, why do we have to learn about the past? Why can't we learn something that was happening in the future well, that's what I just interestingly yeah. we're doing a unit on World War two and some of the stuff that we're learning has huge parallels to Trump and America yeah, and okay. all that kind of stuff so yeah. the boys are really into it they really like it but it wasn't until I got older I went well I guess you've got to learn where you've come from to move ahead yeah definitely. So it does have a fair impact I think it was more um, you know the Egy Egyptian times and all that oh, this, this is so irrelevant I just <laughs> Mind you, with the math as well, and I don't want to uh, yeah, get, you, get your goat here. Um, I did end up using, is it uh, hypotenuse, mm -hmm. Pythagoras? Yep. All those sorts of things actually did come into play when I needed to um, you know, build decks and learn angles and all sorts of stuff. So it actually did come into, you know, use yeah, eventually. Some so. of the boys tend to move into those fields that are much more sort of math science based. And yeah. The girls tend to move into, yeah, humanities stuff. Yeah, so. that, fair enough. How was uh, AFLW this year? Oh, it was fantastic. It was um, it was such a good experience. It was really nice umpiring with um, a good, really good group of committed umpires who were all there for um, the professionalism, for the love of the game. Yeah. Um, I love seeing some of those really, really tough girls go out there and and I'm a, as many people know, I'm a really big supporter of females in sport, yeah, and yeah. Um, and seeing those girls just go hard at the footy and and kick some really really good goals, it was very exciting, very exciting to be a part of. It's pretty going hard at the footy, like there's so many injuries happening with the girls at the moment. It's uh, and also at lower levels, mm. they seem to not know how to protect themselves. So hopefully, yeah. as the game evolves, they'll learn to. Uh, protect themselves, obviously strengthen. I know um, with women's knees are not as strong, mm -hmm. particularly around the meniscus and the ACLs. No one here as strong as what the men, it's just the way that they're built. Yep. And there's a fair focus on actually getting um, a fair bit of strength pre-season uh, Yeah, as well definitely. And I think once, the, once we have this competition that's really, really well developed and we've got girls who are coming through, who are coming from really strong footy backgrounds. Yep. You know, we've got a few with the marquee players, but a lot of the time they're coming from other sports. So in a, in a couple of years, I think it'll just go from strength to strength. And, um, and we'll really start to see, you know, girls who've played footy from when they were five or six years old. Yeah. And, um, and they'll definitely be the ones to watch. They'll, they'll be really exciting. Have you got any 
mentors that as you're going through your ranks in the umpiring that you look up to? Um, yeah, yeah no, company? so um, I started out umpiring um, in my second or third year with the senior group. I was in the academy and so I was um, under the guidance of the great Tristan Symes. Um, and so he was my sort of mentor coach there. Yeah. Um, and then obviously uh, Michael Roach has been uh, just a fantastic um, guide, mentor, friend. Um, he's really, really helped me a lot. Um, and then this year's state manager, James Waldorf mm -hmm. Duffy, has just been a fantastic supporter of, of the female group, of you know really pushing that, getting female participation. And, yeah. um, and so yeah, they'd, they'd probably be my top three that have really, really helped my umpiring career along. Yeah, cool. Have you got any words to the girls out there looking at getting into umpiring, whether they're playing football, but um, getting into umpiring and what is, has been so awesome for you along your way? Yeah, well, I think like, for me it was, a, it was a chance to be involved in a sport that I absolutely loved. I was terrible at it, as you've probably seen in the uh, skill drills. <laughs> um, so this was a way to stay involved and... Um, and for the girls out there, the, the boys, even though it feels like it's a really male-dominated sport, it's not. The, the boys are so welcoming. They're so supportive of us. Um, we obviously run a fair bit slower than they do at training, but they're always there backing us up. And, um, and it's just a really, really great cultural, cultural environment. And yeah. um, the boys uh, really make us feel really, really welcome. Um, and we've got a great group of girls who really support each other and to make training really fun. It's a great way to get fit. And, um, and yeah, I just say to all those girls out there, just give it a go. It's, it's not as daunting as it seems, even yep. though there's only a few of us in, involved at the moment. Yeah. Um, it's, it's a great culture. You can kind of get that footy club atmosphere without, you know, it being in a footy club. Yeah, so, yeah, true. Yeah. And that's the same message um, Belinda uh, said as well, that everyone's really accommodating and welcoming, particularly, you know, when you go to a venue. When they don't have a female change room and all that, they do give you the space. To, oh, the, yeah. You know, get, get yeah, ready. no, there's not, not too many clubs anymore that don't have female change rooms. But um, when they when we do end up at a club that doesn't have it, the boys are just more than happy to clear on out, give us some space, give us some time to get changed, and and we love being in the rooms with them as well because it's a it's a really team atmosphere and. And it's, you feel like you're part of the team as well when we're all getting ready together. And yeah, it's great. Yeah, for sure. Kate, thank you very much for joining me on the Coffee Run today. Appreciate it. Have a great 2018. Thank Hopefully, you. Hopefully, um, you know, you get to the absolute top level. Good luck with your kneeful as well. Perfect. So. Thanks very much, Briggsy. Thanks, mate. Cheers. See ya.